Hi, this is Misha, and this is kind of an addendum to the earlier videos we did on the German Mausers. This is about the German Carab or Car 98B. These were produced during the era of the Weimar Republic in the 1920s and early 1930s. And we thought we'd just look at it. It's kind of an interesting transitional, transitional gun. Now, for really more info on this, I suggest you look at our earlier Mauser videos. We have, we have one that looks at the kind of all of them, and then we have another one that looks specifically at the uh, CAR 98A. But just to recap very briefly, this is a pre-World War I Gewehr 98. We have a 29-inch barrel. Bayonet lug, unprotected front sight. We have a half length upper handguard. We have a roller coaster rear sight. Now, early guns like this would not have the grasping grooves on the stock here, nor would they have the takedown disc in the butt stock. Instead, they would have this unit disc. All these features would be changed during the middle of World War I. We have a straight bolt handle. Typical Mauser, large ring, 98 action, and bottom mounted sling swivels, with the rear one being quick detachable. We also have a hook in the front used for attaching the sling to shorten it up. This was a standard infantry rifle of Germany during World War One. The carbine version was called the Car 98 and it was renamed in 1923 to the Car 98A and that was because of this gun here which was named the Car or Carab 98B Bravo. Now this gun is pretty interesting as you notice it's long like the infantry rifle. Still has a 29 inch barrel. Still has the short upper handguard. Bayonet lug. We have uh, finger grooves now as a mid to late war Gewehr 98 would have. And we have the takedown disc and the butt stock. On the other hand, we have a turn down bolt handle, as you see. We have side sling mounts as opposed to bottom. We have a pass through on the back here. And we have a swivel, a slot in the front of the band here. And basically, those two features made this officially a carabiner carabiner in Germany after World War I. This was because of limitations that were placed on the nation for the production of long rifles, infantry rifles, Gewehrs, but they were allowed to produce a certain number of uh, carabiners, carbines, for police use and to equip a very small defensive military. So to get around these limitations, they essentially took the Gewehr 98 action, the barrel, the receiver, and they mated it with this side sling mounted stock and they turned down the bolt handle. Now it has a couple of other small differences. For example, this barrel band is wider than on the standard infantry rifle. And we also go to a more modern pattern of tangent rear sight versus the roller coaster. But otherwise, it's like a World War I Gewehr 98, still firing 8mm Mauser and all of that. They would produce these. The pattern would basically be adopted in 1923. These would go into production in 1924, and that would last until about 1931, best guess. They would only be produced officially at the Simson and Company factory, because that was the one factory that the Allies, after World War I, allowed for production in Germany. And Simson would, would produce these 
starting off a little slow, they would ramp up production around 1927, 28, and then they would slow it back down after 1930. No one knows for sure exactly how many car 98Bs were made, but estimates are about, or really rough estimates are about 70,000. That's rough, but that gives you an idea. Quite a small number. So we can say about 10,000 a year on average, 9,500, something like that. But yeah, this was how the Weimar Republic got around limitations. And the Carab 98B is interesting because it's really what turned into the Car 98K, K standing for curves. And the reason I say that, let's really do a little rearranging here. You would think that the Car 98K would be more inspired by the earlier Car 98A. This carbine here. This was a standard carbine that Germany used before and during World War I, although it would go out of production in 1918. It does have a 23 and a half inch barrel and the Car 98K would have the same length barrel. Pick it up here. Well, a little bit longer, about 24 on this one, 23 and some change. But if we compare features amongst these three, you can tell that this gun here, the Car 98K, really is a shortened Car 98B more than it is an updated Car 98A. These two guns are extremely similar. This one's just about five inches longer. They use the same front barrel band. For that matter, they use the same front sight, same cleaning rod and bayonet arrangement. We have a, the same half length upper handguard. The rear barrel bands are virtually the same. The major difference is the spring. The K98K has a single spring that, you, that holds on both bands. The K98B has two separate springs like on an earlier Gewehr 98. They both use a tangent rear sight that's of the same pattern. They're both large ring Mausers. Now the K98K does delete the stock gr the grasping grooves. They both have a solid round turn down bolt handle. Both have discs in the stock and the same pass through type sling swivel back here. And the early K98Ks would use the same type of flat butt plate. Later ones would have the cupped. Now let's compare that to the K98A, to the K98K. Front sight, protectors, and all that are very different. The bayonet lug sticks out further on the K98A. It has this stacking rod and no cleaning rod. This has no stacking rod and a cleaning rod. This has a full length upper hand guard. It has a hinged front band. This rear band is held on with a screw rather than a spring. Moving back, we do have a tangent rear sight, but it's a different pattern than used on the K98. But this definitely probably inspired the later tangent sight used on the K98B and the K98K. This is a small ring Mauser versus large. The turn, it has a turn down bolt, but it's actually a half bolt handle with a checkered base or bottom. So it's different. And the trigger guard is a different shape and it's actually moved forward a little bit. You can tell by where the capture screws are at and the rear screw, the trigger guard is further forward by a wee bit. We still have a pass through sling slot in the back and we still have the donut for disassembly and a flat butt plate. Although the butt plate is, it wraps around the top further than it does on either 
of these two guns here. So even the butt plate is a little different on the Car 98A compared to the B or the K98K. So it's very clear that the, the really the Carab 98B, even though it was originally a workaround for the Treaty of Versailles, they just took it, shortened it by about five inches, and came up with the Car 98K. So for nothing else, it has that place in history, which is kind of interesting. At least to me. It's a, a, a transitional guns are very interesting to me. These would see quite a bit of use early in World War II, 1938, really before it started, 1939, while they were still getting their K-98K fleet up to snuff. But as the war would drag on, they would start to fall more and more out of use, and you wouldn't see them as much. With only 70,000 built, and the Car 98K built in the, in the millions, obviously these kind of got overwhelmed. There's another version, too, that you see in the 30s called the Gewehr 98M, which is just like the long rifle here. But instead of having this roller coaster rear sight, we have the tangent, the updated tangent sight from the Carab 98B. So just to be complete, we have the Gewehr 98M as well, which is an unofficial designation, but you get the idea. After World War II, these Car 98Bs, seems like a lot of them in, ended up in the eastern part of Europe. The ones that have come into the country, for the most part, came in back in the 90s during that kind of mystery Eastern European import batch, which is either Romanian or Albanian. So most all of them, including mine here, are somewhat mismatched. I'm lucky in that this one is pretty much matching except for the bolt, and it does have a correct German-made turned-down bolt, but it's not matching. I don't think it has any serial on it at all, actually. It's been scrubbed. But yeah, if you usually find a Car 98B, it's going to be partial or completely mismatched and probably saw some use post-World War II in, in Eastern Europe, training rifle or otherwise. But yeah, I just wanted to show you an interesting transitional step between the Gewehr 98 and the Car 98K. And again, if you're interested in German Mausers and haven't checked out our other videos, please do so. We'll put a link in the description. If you have any questions or comments, we really welcome them below. If you like the video, please click. If you haven't subscribed, we would really appreciate it if you do so. This is Misha, and we'll catch you next time.